Hey there. Uh, my name is Yosef. I'm an uh, American convert to Orthodox Judaism and I've been living in Israel for the past seven years. Uh, I want to ask you guys, uh, both uh, Muslim supporters of Palestinians and non-Muslim supporters of Palestinians, uh, specifically you guys, uh, a few questions uh, in connection to the raid on the ships that were arriving with aid to Gaza. Alright, first I want to specify that I, though I am an Israeli uh, citizen officially, uh, and also uh, not in support of all Jews being, being kicked out of Israel, despite this, I am not in favor of mistreatment of Palestinians or of uh, the Arabs who live in Israel. Uh, my question specifically is, when you hear of such incidences as such as took place today, do you automatically assume that uh, the Israelis are guilty? Or do you first uh, try to hear both sides of the story? And two, uh, regardless of what you think actually occurred on the ship, uh, if it is true, as the Israeli soldiers reported, if it is true that they were attacked and fire was aimed at them as they, uh, took, as they took over the ship, if that is the case, do you think that they were justified in defending themselves? in such a case. Again, I'm not asking whether you think that this is what happened, but I am asking if it were the case that they were boarding the ship in order to divert it, in order to, in, uh, in order to enforce their blockade, whether or not you think that blockade is uh, justified, that is not the question. Uh, in their taking over the ship, do you think that in the case that they were fired upon, or attacked, that they were justified to defend themselves, or do you think they should just allow themselves to be attacked? So that's uh, all the questions I have for now. Uh, if you have any questions regarding my past or my perspectives, I've uploaded plenty of uh, videos to YouTube. I think you can get a general feel for what my uh, view of things are and, and how my perspectives have been influenced and affected during the past seven years I've lived in Israel. May those who long for peace be strengthened, and may those innocent ones whose lives were lost or who were injured be remembered, and may we all be saved from prejudice and misconception. Peace, shalom, ma'asalami.